Hello community! Now, in our last video we understood looking at the attention and the visual attention tokens in this picture why the machine was not able to recognize a human face here in the background. But now we're gonna change the picture and we're gonna look now here. It is the image of a pyramid as you can see here beautifully. So great! This is now our image and we want here now if we apply the vision transformers that have been pre-trained with the dyno method, where is now here the object classification taking part? So exactly like in the last time, this is what we do. We prepare the image. We have our vision transformer feature extractor. We have still the same model like in the last video where I showed you the human face with the light chain in the foreground. Yes, never mind, never mind, never mind. Yes, save your chances. So it is the same dyno method with a vision transformer base 16 times 16 pixels. We have the feature extractor and we let's calculate the forward pass. We do this on a CUDA core. Beautiful pixel values. And then we calculate our attentions. And then we want to visualize our the output of the attention head of the last layer of our last encoder stack in our vision transformer. And here we go. So just make a little bit. Yes, beautiful. So what I need now again, like here, I want to show you here the original image. Come on. I know it's late. So the late for me. So here we have our image. Oops. Okay. Great. As you can see now, the number of attention had in the last layer and the very last transformer uh, block is 12 attention heads in our vision transformer. So we read out now the attention and we overlay it over the visual picture as you can see here. So we can absolutely clearly see where each attention head focuses on our image. So, as you can see here, attention head number one of 12 gets the shape, the global shape of the pyramid. And this is the nice thing, remember with CNN, convolutional neural networks and a transformer design architecture, they have some inherent symmetries and translation equivariance, as I showed you in three videos ago. And now you can see here clearly we have the advantage that we have here already in the, in the layers here a global kind of identification. Beautiful. So next, uh, next attention head focuses here. You see it on the lighter pixels here on the first boundary here between light and darkness. This is clear. Okay, next one. I would say now we enter in the local dimension here. We have here something, I don't know what this is, sprinkled all over. Ah, this is a nice one. Look at this particular attention hat here in the last layer. It is absolutely focused here on this object at the base of the pyramid. And if you look here, you see that this is exactly here, this object, whatever this is. I have no idea, I cannot identify it. But this is what there is now the central focus of the attention here on this attention head. Next one you can see it's here, the silhouette here against the sky and also again our object here. But also you see here, let's focus here on this part here. So there's the pyramid coming down and there's another pyramid going up and you can see in the visual picture, yeah, this is exactly where the other pyramid goes up. So you have now a clear understanding where each attention head tries to focus, tries to identify the most important areas here in our image with vision transformers. And it's very nice, you see here, it's on the upper, on the upper tip of our pyramid. And this one, this head again focuses here on our base. This, the next head focus here, a line between bright and dark areas of our pyramid plus here our object at the base of the pyramid. Next attention head has a focus on the top of the pyramid, nice. 
And this one has here a very bright focus of attention. I don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, it should be somewhere over there. So let's go over there. It comes down and there, comes down and there. So suppose this spot here where we go from bright sunlight and the shadow. Interesting. This one here is really at the, at the fringe here of our image. I have no idea what this could be somewhere here. And then here, this is now the last attention hat and the last layer. You can very clearly see for the task of a, or image classification, we clearly see the object here. Of course, it's more or less a black and white picture. And you can identify this by this typical shape that this could be a pyramid. Beautiful. But you see also again here this strange focus element here on the object here on the base of the pyramid. So it is so nice with a little bit of code, we can identify where the machine code gets it and where the machine code fails. I say thank you. This was a very short uh, try to have a look behind the curtain, how image classification happens with vision transformers. And as you can see, very easily, you can have a look at the different attention patterns that take place if you upload an image and you let the trained vision transformer, particularly here with the Dino pre-trained methodology, define the outcome of our attention heads.